Hello friends, my name is Kisan and welcome you in this video tutorial. Uh, in this video tutorial, I am going to show you a new way to create a, a Spring MVC controller. So in couple, in, in past couple of tutorials, we have seen how we can create a Spring controller by creating a simple class and annotating that class as a at the rate controller. So in that case, that class serves, serves the purpose of controller. Again, we have seen uh, in second approach, uh, we can create a class that implement that implements basically a controller interface, and in that way also we can create a controller. But but that is less preferable, right? Uh, thing is that when you create a controller by implementing controller interface, then uh, you, you can have a only one URL, right? You cannot have, you cannot have a more than one request handler method in that controller. That's the issue. Now next approach, uh, just I'm going to create a controller by extending a class is called abstract controller so that's the approach uh, we want to show in this demo so let's create a project from the scratch a dynamic web project and i'll give the name spring uh, mbc controller uh, by extn standing uh abstract controller e a b s abstract controller controller this is the project name now next click uh, click on the next button now next and click on the next and in this project uh, most of the files i'm going to copy from my previous project so here uh, in hello mbc project which uh, we had created in very first uh, video tutorial so here i'm going to copy most of the files from here so leave for uh, leave there is all dependent jars so that i'm going to copy and i'll paste in this leave directory and again i'm going to copy few dispatcher servlet and web.xml so these are the files which i had created from the scratch in previous video tutorial if you did not watch my previous tutorial then i request you to go and watch my previous tutorial then continue with this video now let's create a, let's copy this package name as well this control package along with this class so that i'm going to paste it over here okay so most of the files we have copied from this project and you are very much familiar with this project here a lot of things i'm going to remove from here now these are things i don't do not require so let's remove these things sorry okay now uh, the way i'm going to create a controller in this uh, demo just i'll you have to create a class with any name and let's extend this class with abstract controller right abstract controller abstract controller once you extend this class your class with abstract controller then this is forcing you to override one abstract method right and this method name is a uh, handle request internal and that returns model and view and that takes http subject request and response object so let's say this is req and this is res now if you have a request object then you can do many things you can uh, receive the input parameter from the uh, view you can create session you can create application context object and everything and if you have http uh, sublet response object then you can uh, send the uh, response to a client you can create some kind of cookies and you can set in the uh, response etc right so here i'm not going to dig those things because that's the part of the sublet itself so here basically I am going to create a very simple uh, uh, JSP file. I would say index.jsp. And here I am going to take uh, input from the user. So form action, I am going to specify like this uh, project name and slash, I would say hello. Right? And 
I'll just say hello. This is the just he. Uh, oh, sorry. So, so this form we have designed, and here we'll take uh, input from the user like user. Sorry username and here we can take input and type this is just a HTML tag and name equal to username so and we'll have a one submit button all right so input type equal to submit and value equal to submit okay so let's add br for line break control a control shift a for formatting so this is so i would say login page so this is title this basically this will display the top of the uh, browser this will display on the top of the browser so this is our index dot jsp which is uh, I have kept on the web content. So when I run this project, then first of all, this will display. Uh, once you click in the submit button, then uh, request will go to the our controller uh, who is having the URL pattern as hello. So here, uh, basically, this may this method basically returns model and view object. So let's create an object of model and view. So model and view is having a lot of constructor. So in past few video tutorials, I have used this constructor. I'll continue with the same. So here I would say hello. So hello.jsp would be, would be our uh, file name that must present in the uh, uh, inside the view folder. And here I would say I would say uh, hello message. Uh, sorry. And here I'm going to Put a message in this key in this model object like hello and request and in sublet you have a request dot get parameter right HTTP server request is having a method is called request dot get parameter and here I'm going to specify the username that is coming from the index dot JSP right so here name is username from this name whatever value we put in the text that you can collect in the this control right that I'm trying to con collect and just I'm concatenating with the just concatenating with the hello and this message I want to send on the hello.jsp with this key right so let's create a hello.jsp inside the view so here currently we have a JSP just rename it or you can say welcome page itself so welcome page would be our logical view name and here hello message we would like to print so instead of welcome message hello message right and one more thing when you create a controller like this by extending or by implementing some interface or by extending some class then this class you will have to register in the uh, configuration file right then this will be considered as a controller class so go to here and here we don't require these things so let's uh, create a bean a spring bean so this class you will have to register as a name equals to i'm going to specify as hello slash hello and this could be your url pattern of your controller and class qualified name of class okay when you configure this bean then basically this bean basically uh extends oh sorry uh, this bean basically extends abstract controller right so abstract controller again extends you can see uh, web content generator and uh, here you have a lot of things you can configure so many more things you can configure so here i'm going to configure supported methods this property i'm going to configure while configuring this controller in uh, dispatcher subway.xml so here you can say property name uh, supported methods and here value you can specify post right and then in that case index.html here you will have to specify the method as post right 
So if you do not specify, then default method is the get post method explicitly will have to specify. And that's it. And here web.xml we have registered dispatcher servlet which works as a controller in Spring NBC. And here uh, this file already I had explained in a previous example. So here basically we have register internal resource view resolver who is responsible to resolve the view. Right. So this is the prefix and logical name is coming from the controller. So this is the logical name welcome page and uh, uh, and this is the suffix. So entire view location would be webinf view slash welcome page dot gsp suffix is dot gsp. That's it. So let's run this project and see uh, what happens. Now we are expecting to get index.jsp. This will be forwarded to the client. And here you can type anybody name like I am going to type Son. And if you click on the submit button, then this is going, this is telling you hello Son. So this is another way to create your controller class, right? So uh, basically, uh, when you extend the your controller class as a abstract controller class, if you want to easily control the supported HTTP methods, session, and content caching, so cons in that case, uh, if you go to see here, then I had shown you there are a lot of property, right? So some property is related to caching as well, right? Cache control you can do with the help of this kind of controller. This basically when you create a controller like this, then you can say it creates a single action controller with a configuration regarding a supported methods. I mean session caching can or uh, can be specified in the bean uh, declaration of the controller. There are many more property you can define. Right, so here I have defined uh, HTTP methods. Right, if you look into over here, HTTP methods there, but there are a lot of many more things you can uh, inject over here. So, this configuration indicates that uh, here, this config configuration basically indicates that post method is supported by the controller's handler method. Uh, for other configuration like session caching, you can uh, have look into the abstract controller class or its uh, and its super class as well. So, Spring NBC also offers several control classes which are designed for a specific different purposes like you have abstract URL view controller, uh, multi action controller, parameterizable view controller, servlet forwarding controller, servlet wrapping controller, URL file name view controller, etc. So, if you would like to, I mean, explore this type of controller which is basically used for the different purposes right so you can go and explore right so that's all i have in this video tutorial guys this code i'm going to put on the github and github location i will specify in the video description itself so thanks for watching this video and see you next video tutorial